the ducks in the road. Welcome to Brakes 101. In part two today, we're going to be covering the different types of brake pads. In this series, we'll cover how to swap pads, the different types of pads, the different brands of brakes, the different types of brakes, and where to buy pads, as well as how to clean using brake cleaner. I started my journey on the M365, as many of you did, and that's when I first changed my pads about a month or two after. Um, and I bought these pads on Amazon, and ever since then I've been buying pads on Amazon. So I figured I would just pull up my my buying history and go through all the different pads I've bought with you guys and my experience with them. After about three months of the Xiaomi, I got the Ninebot Max, which as you all know has a drum brake. And so that is the only brake I didn't end up buying off Amazon. You have to get that directly from Segway, at least you did back then. These days you can order it from AliExpress or wherever. Drum brakes are great from the standpoint that they last a couple thousand miles before you really need to service them. And they're low maintenance. You don't need to adjust them very often at all. The downfall is they don't have very much stopping power in comparison to disc brakes. So that's why when I bought my Zero 10X, then we're moving on to into the, the realm of disc brakes. About a week or two after my uh, Zero 10X first arrived, I decided I needed new pads. Um, you always need new pads, really. Um, if you ride a lot like me and you ride fast and you brake heavy. So I decided to take a look at some more expensive pads at the time, and these were very expensive in comparison to what I ended up buying regularly, and they didn't perform much better, to be honest. This is a gold compound, but it's still a resin. So the resin pads all seem to be the same, whether they are high quality resin pads or not, they only last about four or 500 miles on that scooter. So I ended up looking for more and more options. I ended up finding cheaper resin pads. These ones were about eight bucks for four pairs, so that's two changes. Uh, so about, you know, on at my pace, this was about 800 miles or so. I would change these out um, for eight bucks. So to me, that was a really good budget buy, but it was still ended up being a lot of work. So I was still looking for a better solution as I went along. I found these X Tech semi hydraulic brake calipers that have oil in the inside and so they are a bit superior than the standard mechanical brakes but they only have it one direction so for scooters you can't put one on on the left side in the rear for a lot of scooters and on the 10x it was that way it was on the right side on the rear so there was no way to add a rear one so i only had one of these brakes but in the front it did do a lot better honestly in the front does most of the stopping power if you know anything about brakes I think it's like 60 or 70 percent of the stopping comes from the front brake so this did improve the stopping as well as you can see in the picture i added 160 millimeter rotors i decided around this time to experiment with these metallic pads so they were supposed to have a longer life and more temperature resistant they're sort of the middle of the road as far as price between uh, the cheap pads and the ceramic pads and true to their claim uh they did last about two to three times longer i'd say almost three times longer i think it was about 1500 miles between changing those i'm still on my second set right now at this point i got the v set and i knew i was going to need pads because i drive like a madman like i say and i go through pads all the time so i found these on amazon but they took like a month for delivery so i also ordered some equivalent ones on ebay and aliexpress so i just had a couple extra sets they're all about the same price um these pads seem good, but I think they're resin, so I'd be interesting if I could find these in ceramic somewhere, I would pay a little more for it to not change them as often. They're definitely superior, though, because of the cooling fins that help dissipate heat. So if you're braking a lot and riding fast and braking a lot hard, then it will help get rid of the extra heat, and you'll still uh, have that braking power even when your brakes start getting warmer. And these are the final pads that I've bought most recently. They're for the Yumi. I decided to get ceramic pads. As you can see, there's multiple options on this ad even. But the ceramic, I've noticed over time now, are the best for a reason. Same as on cars, ceramic are the best because they last the longest, they require the least maintenance, and they create the least brake dust, so you're cleaning less often. So if you guys take anything from this video, take that most important point that it's definitely worth it to spend a little bit more money and get ceramic pads from the standpoint that you won't have to change them as often and it saves you time down the line then thanks for watching guys if you found this video useful be sure to subscribe because there's many more videos coming soon 
I'll link all the brake pads in the description so if you have any of these scooters feel free to check out the Amazon links and you can buy them easily.